So very good afternoon, everybody, and a very warm welcome to E4M Content Jam, the content marketing gig. In its third edition, we are going virtual, and this is the virtual conference, so which is why we definitely like all of you to log into our Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. We are live on all of those platforms. You can also send in your tweets using our hashtag E4M Webinar or using our hashtag E4M Content Jam. Our first speaker is already here, so without wasting any more time, we'll get into what Content Jam is all about. Content marketing has become an integral part of brand's marketing plan, but with COVID-19, content marketing is bigger than ever before. We've all heard content is the king, right? With mainstream marketing coming to a grinding halt, content continues to play a pivotal role in ensuring brand salience. E-Content Jam is half-day content marketing conference where brand leaders engage in interesting discussions and share their brand journey through these rough times. Now, this is a great platform for you to learn of the latest content marketing trends, interact with industry leaders, and also track what competition is doing. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to our first speaker who is going to give us a case study of Fevi Creel crafting memories. He is the CEO of Consumer Products Speedlight Industries, Mr. Shantanu Bhanja. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Hi there. Hello, sir. It's, it's wonderful to be on this uh, webinar in this forum uh, where one can speak about how to rediscover one more facet of marketing uh, beyond the traditional advertising, beyond the traditional ways of connecting to consumers. And it's uh, so relevant. Am I visible? Absolutely, sir. So, sir, I'm going to go off the screen and leave the screen to you for all our viewers to hear your case study. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, and so it is uh, a great time, as I was saying, to connect with consumers in a content uh, environment rather than the usual or beyond just the usual uh, content, uh, usual way of marketing, which is through the products that we advertise, through the products that we do a lot of sell about. This is really getting into the consumer's life uh, with uh, content uh, and therefore directly engaging with consumers. It's something that uh, I have personally believed in in a very, very uh, deep way for a very long time. And uh, it is really wonderful to be able to get to this forum and speak on that, uh, especially in these times, as you mentioned, when this becomes even more relevant. With the, some of the normal advertising routes, some of the normal marketing routes becoming not as effective or becoming uh, a bit more challenging and difficult. And this part of it, which is uh, the content marketing part of it, is something that one can do very actively. And that's something we've been engaging in. So what I wanted to do today is uh, uh, dwell a bit on what we have done, uh, dwell a bit on some of the learnings that we have had, and what I believe are fundamental principles of uh, doing uh, content marketing. I will uh, take an example from one of the Pidlight brands. Uh, most of the Pidlight brands are uh, brands which are in consumer lives on a daily basis. All of us have grown up with them. Uh, Fevicol, as many of you know, is one of the most trusted consumer brands, uh, repeatedly uh, ranked as such by consumers. And uh, yet what we I'll talk about is not just the Fevicol brand, but how an expression of Fevicol uh, is really what we have worked on and uh, done some uh, very interesting content marketing on that I'd like to share. Yep, I will try to just one second, I'll try to share the content and hopefully it will work. Uh, I am having a little bit of difficulty here. Yep, sorry, some of the hitches of using. Yes, it should be now visible. Yes. So I, what I'll do is therefore take you through our journey, our uh, 
our initiative that we did recently and intersperse that uh, with thoughts about what we can uh, do content marketing on how we believe uh, it can be done so in many ways for me one of the most significant and this is borrowing from uh, robert mckee uh, who gives us a version of how to talk about the story about uh, content marketing and the quote is storytelling is the most powerful way to put ideas into the world because what you are doing there is not just uh, sharing an advertisement or a communication which is uh, your idea which you're giving and telling someone to adopt it as their idea it is through the act of storytelling through the act of content that you're really providing that uh, uh, connection and providing the idea which then becomes because it is in the form of content it becomes an idea that becomes the idea of the receiver uh, just one second it is uh, so what uh, therefore the idea of content marketing fundamentally uh, is that it it if it fulfills a need in the consumer's life then it gets consumed and then it gets integrated into life and in many ways therefore content can serve needs of entertainment education services what you will and in today's time uh, it is often news that is content and there are many different ways that uh, content comes into uh, our lives and if it is something that fulfills a need then it's something that the consumer consumes and it becomes a part of their life if it fulfills an emotional need and that's where i think the current situation becomes even more relevant if it fulfills an emotional need in the backdrop of a social cultural context then it becomes a part of that positive association and becomes a part of the life of the consumer in covid times what we have actually felt is that brands should be making only relevant and responsible outreach attempts if you try to go out in this particular time of all times i'm hearing from someone that it's not very audible and uh, i will therefore try to talk a bit uh, slower but if if it is still not audible i will then uh, try to figure out something brands should be making only relevant and responsible outreach attempts share content people can use or that can provide solutions to their problems the idea is if you're just telling what you are interested in then it remains your story to the extent that you are sharing content that can become a part of their lives the consumers lives and it's solving their problem it becomes content that is relevant to them always remain uh, remember also to be consistent with what you have been and what you have been communicating so you suddenly in the content marketing situation try to be a very different persona a very different uh, individual from what you have been in all your other communication all your other touch points then it creates a friction that it creates a delineation from the consumer who doesn't recognize your brand and your brand messaging also and the brand relationship also doesn't get built up and be restrained don't really rush to clamber about the momentum marketing uh, thing everyone is doing something so let me also do the same try to be different try to be relevant and yet try to be different in your communications as in everything else when you're speaking to a friend you speak to them about what is relevant to that person so that person finds your content relevant and then accepts it because it is a story that she wants to listen to and then if we talk about the current context it's a time of uncertainty it's a time of anxiety we're all stuck together in the house and especially for a lot of us anyone who is a young child we know that for them it's the hardest many of us are still working 
uh, from home, many of us are st still involved in the many things that we are doing. We are able to uh, manage our time better. But for the child, it is often a very, very cruel time. They're not out playing. They're not able to go out and do things that they want to do. And therefore, it is a time when children are very, very anxious. They're very, they're often in our hair. They're really clamoring for attention. And yet, as a parent, I have limited resources because I'm also stuck in the house. And that is the context in which we conceived of our initiative uh, and i'll come to it in a moment but we said can i provide a platform that helps the parent spend time in a memorable way with the child and that will be remembered for a very very long time the brand that we worked on is really a platform that is called fevi create as i said uh, it is from the context of fevi the Fevicrate brand, the Fevicrate brand, if you were to call it the platform, is one that provides art and craft content to both schools and parents in order to inculcate creativity in children. And we said this is the time that children have the most time to be creative. This is the time that they have the most need to get busy with various things. This is the time when parents have the most need to be able to engage with uh, their children. And how can we do that? How can we help them be creative with many different products, art and craft products like Febicol, MR, Febistake, Rangila, Febicril, many of our brands. But beyond that, the core idea of how can we get them to become engaged in creativity, in the pursuit of creativity. The initiative itself that we designed was to spend time with children by the parent by engaging in fun crafting activities to create happy memories. And the initiative that we took out, that we worked on for this, was that it is either a time when you look back on with a lot of uh, animosity, with a lot of uh, negative thoughts that this is the time when we're all stuck in the house, this is the time when we couldn't go out. This is the time that I couldn't go out and shop for the things I wanted, play in the play field or all of that. Or this could be treated as a time when I created happy memories with my children. And that was the positive way of choosing to remember the lockdown. And we partnered with Momspresso, a platform for mothers, for whom mothers, for whom this content really mattered. Because every mother that we spoke to in this period, talked about the fact that they would like to keep their children busy, talked about the fact that they would like to actually create uh, some shared time with their children, and yet they didn't want them to be just stuck with a television, just stuck with an iPad or something like that. They wanted their children to be something, uh, to have some time where they could relate together and create happy memories. So we moved on from there to say, Let's create a crafting memories challenge. And this would be a challenge to say that India is crafting memories. Mothers and children, fathers and children were spending time together, creating memories, crafting memories. Are you? And that was the core thought. And how could we as a brand, A, instigate you, uh, drive you uh, into crafting memories, spending time together and doing things with your children and how could we beyond that help you actually make the actual uh, content creation with your child possible. So first of all was seeding the thought and making it viral through content made by influencers both big and small so everyone from a Shilpa Shetty to Ram Vijay, Neha Dupia they were some of the influencers who were mothers of young kids themselves, who were actually feeling the pain themselves of not being able to uh, give, let their children have the normal time that they did. And they came on board very, very happily. They found their Fevicol bottle from the bottom shelf or wherever their child's school bag was. And they gifted us some beautiful videos of themselves as parents 
playing with their children and making uh, new crafting uh, memories. It was not just the beautiful things that they made. It was a craft, uh, it was a memory that they were creating with the children. So that's how it started. That's how it went really viral. And therefore, they were all able to actually share this in a very positive way that other parents along the line could actually receive the content and felt that it talked to them. And overwhelmingly, we got back the message that this is something that I could do as well. This is something that I would love to do as well. And then we backed it up with creating daily live sessions with experts to help parents with easy to make crafts with items lying around the home. We recognized that every mother wanted to do things with their children. Many of them were not expert in doing crafts. Many of them didn't have a lot of craft items around their house. So how could we get in, rope in experts who could help parents pick up the, the Amazon craft box, the Flipkart uh, craft box, uh, or the packaging box, tear it open, put some fevicol on it, put some wrapping paper on it, with simple things around the home, make beautiful things and craft new memories. And then we topped it up with a daily contest to keep the spirit up and to keep the momentum going. All of that worked brilliantly well. We had fantastic uh, feedback. We had 10, plus, uh, 10 million plus video views in this period of three weeks. Of course, beyond the 41 million plus impressions, 35 million plus reach, all really large numbers in a three week period, uh, much beyond the numbers that we had set out to achieve. But I think even more excited, exciting for us was that there were 1.5 million plus engagements in this short time. And these were very, very deep engagements, often people writing about this site, sharing things that they did themselves, wanting, uh, telling us what they wanted to do beyond uh, what we actually, what content we had provided, they were often sharing content with us. And there were more than 10,000 challenge entries that parents actually shared with their children. Some beautiful pictures, some beautiful arts and crafts, all of this together, creating in a way, a montage that we want to come back to parents with, with their happy creations of both craft items and of memories that they have created. And that's something that becomes a tentpole video, a tentpole creative for us to actually now go back to all of these engaged 1.5 million plus engaged parents and share with them the story of their memories played back to them. That's really what we did and what we took out of it is that when you're really providing content that is authentic and relevant to the audience, then they care about it, they share it, they talk about it to other friends. But it needs to have that authentic relevance uh, for your consumers. They then engage with the brand, in this case, the Fevicreate platform with our fevicreate.com website. And eventually they have high degree of residual positivity about the brand about the platform and an inclination to engage with the brand in the future. That's really what we took out of the initiative that we did. And that's really sort of the messaging uh, that we want, uh, sort of the, the le lesson that I wanted to share with all of you as things that we got out of it and things that we'd like to uh, suggest you could try as well. That's really all that I wanted to share uh, to start with on the theme of content and marketing and uh, on therefore back to you uh, and therefore we can then move to the panel who I know are available already logged in and ready to engage with you. Thank you. Thank you so much Mr. Bhanja uh, for that wonderful presentation.